Hello and welcome to Trendsim World 2. Uh, now this is my first video on Trendsim World 2, that is. In fact, to be perfectly honest with you, this is the first time I have got to this screen. I've literally purchased it about mm, half an hour ago, followed by the installation, and I've not yet loaded the menu. I've literally only got this far. I've signed into my Dovetail Live account. And uh, we are just going to have a look and see what Trains in World 2 is about. Now, in all honesty, I begrudged purchasing this on the basis of I, like many other people, purchased Trains in World 1 and uh, thought that this was going to be it. We were going to, you know, we were going to do loads. We were going to, there was going to be loads of expansions. And then all of a sudden, oh, it's gone. You will have to, uh, you will have to purchase another game uh, because we're just doing away with trades in one I, I was like well I, I mean I, I purchased the add-ons or you know and I was oh no and uh, so yeah I had put off buying it for the London Underground only however um, I gave in yep yeah, I mean the screenshots just look so good I'm like yeah we're gonna have to do that so I have uh, I have started my profile I picked this man uh, I look absolutely nothing like him, but I am not a bald black man, I'm not a black woman, I'm not a white woman, and I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that he's an Asian man, I'm not him, and uh, he is basically the same. So so we're going with him, <laughs> looks absolutely nothing like me. We're going to go in the, uh, the London Underground, I mean, look how smart he looks in that uniform, but no, we're going to go for the more casual London Underground driver. Uh, because that's what we're going to be doing. My name is Joe, and uh, yes, we are going to be going on the underground Bakerloo line. Now, I can promise you, like I say, this is the first time I've ever loaded this, and um, yeah, so everything is new to me. Uh, so yeah, let's let's crack on. Welcome to the Bakerloo line. Welcome to Trends. Welcome to oh, Trends oh, World it Two, for me. an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. Press E to begin. Here we go. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. So I've got action points for pressing E. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding. Oh, oh, sorry. I, I did that before you prompted me to. Over that, and over that. Would you like to invert? No, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it as it is, thank you. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. I, I'm going to assume this is, yep, yeah, we are just walking. That's a, a fairly simple, uh, oh, oh, what's happened? Oh, it's all gone a bit funny there. Well, uh, yeah. Well, do you know what? I'm, I'm incredibly impressed. We're at Oxford Circus now. Um, I can't honestly say that I've ever been here in my life. I have been on the Bakerloo line, on the 72 stock, but to be honest with you, a lot of tube stations look the same. Um, I know that any Londoner will absolutely uh, chastise me for saying that, but they're all right. Oh, we're off upstairs. Hooray! Uh, but yeah, tube stations do all have a very similar uh, look about them. Are we off over to another platform, maybe, to go the other way? Who knows? Oh, follow the markers. Yes, of course, sorry. If I actually read uh, what it said at the top, follow the markers to the northbound platform. Here we are. Uh, are we here? Is the train coming? Oh, we can walk past it. Oh, I, I placed a person. This is one of many interactives to be discovered but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. Oh, right, okay, continuing on. Didn't mean to do that, but we have. And uh, it sounds like a train's coming. Oh, yes it is. Uh, where am I going? Oh, I'm, I'm getting on this train. Move out the way. Like a true Londoner, I just barge everyone out the way. Uh, and do I just enter the leading carriage? Ah, we're on. Right, yeah, so what, what do we do? Should, should we sit down? There we go. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. 
Check it out now, then return to the game when ready. So, pause the game. Let's have a look. What's our task log? Uh, he, he said pause the game and look for a task log. View the map options. Or egg. Pause the game and review the task log. Where's the task log? Am I, am I just being thick here? Uh, oh, here. Hang on. Schedule. There we go. Follow the marker to the staff door. Right, okay. Uh, how do we get out of the seat? E. I don't know if we frequently... Oh, hello! A lot of time will be spent operating trains. So when ready, sit in the driver's seat. Am I, am I just going to sit on her knee? It seems to be the case. Oh, audible reset button. There we go. Uh, I'm assuming you're going to... Uh, e e oh, there we go. You talking me through it? A heads up display has appeared on the right side of the it screen. Has. This is a guide to what the train is doing. Uh, not very much at the moment. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. Okie dokie. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. Okie dokie, we can, uh, we can cope with that. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. Awesome. These are brake indicators. They show the state of various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. Okie dokie. Oh, uh, hang on, we appear to be outside the In cab. the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. Ah. These feature an indication What's of happened? what is approaching and countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Um, how do we, oh, sorry. Some of these displays the can be hidden via the settings menu right. for a more challenging experience. Okie dokie, so signals, yeah, I didn't really hear any of that. I was too busy falling out the side of the window. This train is ready to go. Push the indicated handle all the way forward to get moving. It's, it's all the way forward. Are we, are we, uh... The Bakerloo line runs for just 15 miles, but along that length it connects the suburbs of Harrow, the affluent districts of Maida Vale and Marlborough, and famous places such as Baker Street, Oxford Street and Piccadilly Circus. I'm, I'm sure that something's gone wrong here. The trains that operate are the oldest on the network, taking their name from the year they were introduced, 1972 we Tube Stock. They feature seven carriages in 4 plus 3 configuration. Do, I'm, I'm, I really am missing something here, I'm sure. Well, um, let, let's have a look in our uh, in our schedule. Press the audible warning. Pull the handle back to get going. But I did do that. Do we need to? I have done. How do we... Can, can, can we get up? No, nope, it won't let us get up anymore. Uh, right, okay. The, the doors are shut and the Londoners are becoming increasingly annoyed because uh, the train every three minutes is not moving. Why are we... Doors are closed. Oh, doors are open now. Go on, you may as well get back on this train. We're not going anywhere. Right. Doors are closed. We're still not moving. I'm sure that I've just missed something. Okie dokie. Well, well that works. Nope. There's nothing else to press. There we go. Let's 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 press them all. Aha! Moving. We have movement. And uh, right, okay. Full throttle. Off we go. Uh, we are rather late now. 
Uh, so we are, what's the permitted speed? Is it, is it where that red dot is? Did you say I, I wasn't listening? 20 miles an hour. Right, okie dokie, we can do this. We are on the move. Uh, and uh, we've got a signal in 100 and odd yards. And it will increase to 30 miles an hour. Keep below the speed limit. 20 miles an hour. And I am assuming he's going to give me some more instruction. I mean, I have a vague idea how to stop the thing, uh, given my previous experience with train simulators. Congratulations. This is just the beginning of your experience. There is much more to be explored. Oh. Oh, and we've gone. Welcome to the London Underground. Join the ranks to keep millions of annual passengers moving between the suburbs and world-famous locations throughout central London. Take to the controls of the oldest tube trains on the network and convey commuters from residential to commercial districts across the city. Along the way, don't forget to place route maps, repair platform monitors, put up posters and restock newspaper dispensers. This is the Bakerloo Line. It's it. Oh, oh, are we, are we not back in the train? Are we back in the train? What's happening? Oh. Okay, that seems to be that. Um Right, okay, so so what what happens now? Start a new journey. Continue life on the underground. Let's let's click. Uh, I'm so confused. We were we were there and we started the train and then we got another bit of video caption. Um, perhaps I'm just been thick here. It just all seems a little bit disjointed. Right, so we're on the 72 stock introduction. Have we not just done that? No, nope, obviously not, because we're at a depot. Welcome to your first day on the Bakerloo line of the London Underground. Thank you. Here you will be taken through a brief introduction on operating the 1972 tube stock that operate on this line. Have, have we not just done that? During this session, you'll be taken through the startup procedure, critical driving controls, and passenger operations at several stations. Head over to the indicated train and climb aboard to get started. Oh, do we, do we not go through the cab door? Do we just pee up the steps? Should we shut the door behind us? Ah, there we go. How oh, nice. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. You would like to think so on a train simulator, wouldn't you? Right, down we go. Here we are. The control switch activates the train for operation. Yes, it does. Right, okay. Insert the key. Uh, that is... That's down there. D did we turn it on? No, we didn't. Right, there we go. It's on. The direction selector determines the direction of travel. It does. Right. Uh, do we... Oh, we put the key in. Yes, right. Okie dokie. Forwards. Inter. There we go. Inter. This train features a combined power brake handle. Of the dead set man's handle, as, as it's uh, to begin the start otherwise of the known. Right, so we, we set that. Oh, sorry. Set the brake as indicated. Off and release. And the audible reset is going to happen anytime soon. Couldn't hear an audible uh, noise, but there we go. Set it to hold. Train is now ready to depart. Set the direction selector and apply power to begin moving. We've not put any headlights on. The headlights come on on the road. Okie dokie. Can roll with that. So we need to reach 10 miles an hour. Easily achievable. Uh, just so that everyone is aware, I have absolutely no Our idea what this station is. To efficiently maintain speed and reduce component stress and maintenance requirements. I'm assuming that we are at one end of the line. Brake force to achieve a comfortable and safe stop. Well, I won't need to brake yet, surely. Uh, let's have a look. Where are we? Uh, Queen's Park. All ah, right, we're not at uh, the far end of the line then. Uh, from my limited knowledge of the Bakerloo line. It goes from Harrow and Wealdstone in the northwest down to Elephant and Castle. So we're, we're sort of almost in the middle at this point. Right, let's uh, let's ensure that we have a nice stop. Oop. Hell, the brakes are. Uh, we better stop. Are we not stopping past the platform there? 
obviously. Right. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. I haven't got time for that, love. We'll unlock the doors and ask questions later. Yeah, they're all on. Sensational. Quick, chop, chop. Time to go. After all that fannying around on the depot, we're late. Again. It's time to get <laughs> Specialise in delay. Set the doors to locked. Okie dokie, and off we go. The train is now ready to depart. The next station on the line is Kilburn Park, where we will perform a passenger stop. Excellent. Well, I'm sure I can just about manage that. Off we go, 15 miles an hour. And uh, we've got a downhill section coming up, so I'm assuming that uh, we're going to be quite handy on the brakes here. Uh, that signal's not for me, but it's green anyway, so we'll continue on. And uh, we'll just be a bit tactical. 15 whole miles an hour, light speed. I hope everybody's... Uh, everyone's holding on. Oh, and another one. Hello! Oh my god, we're speeding. And again. And uh, that's about... Oh no, speed... Aha, there we go. Right, full power. And off we go. Oh, we are officially in the tube now. That's uh, that's what we want. Right, okie dokie. Apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable and safe stop. So we'll go up to 35 miles an hour. You've got to get to line speed, haven't you? And uh, I'm assuming that it's just going to fly out of nowhere. Whoa, hey. I quite like this, you know. It's not bad. Would I say it was worth the money? Don't know yet. I might need a little bit longer to think about that one. I'm going to get better at this stopping business. I'm normally quite good with mainline trains, but uh, underground trains... Does it do that every time we stop? Take a quick... Obviously. We're on the platform. Clearly they were a ghost train, because there's no... Uh, are those screens broken again? Oh yeah, I don't know, and they say they don't need guards on trains. But, uh, it's time to get it going. It is. Set the doors to locked. I would look at the screens to make sure no one was been dragged to the deaths, but uh, it doesn't appear that they're working, so uh, we're Proceed just going to... the next stop at Maidervale unguided this time, and see how you get Champion. on. Champion. Right, off we go. One. Stick it in notch three, why not? So we are heading southeast on this service. So we would be a uh, an elephant and castle, as I believe they call it down south. They'd have a fit if I came on the PA system saying elephant and castle. Right, so we're back up to line speed, and we need to watch out because the speed will drop in about 500 yards to uh, to 30 miles an hour. We'll need to keep an eye on that one. And uh, 250 yards. Right, let's pop notch one. Notch two. Let's. Uh, we'll take it down to 25 and then back into notch one. See if we can notch one it to the end. We're not going to be able to notch one it to the end. There. I should have uh, not chickened out and just left it in uh, in notch one. There we go. And again. He said a nice smooth stop, and we appear to be achieving anything but a nice smooth stop. There we go. That's only ever so slightly irritating, isn't it? Every time it stops. Maybe I'm doing something wrong there. Uh, maybe I'm not. Who knows? Uh, I'm, oh, and another set of screens broken. Where's, where's the train? I don't know. Right here. And, uh, Good work. That oh, concludes all of the basics done? of operating this train. Shut the doors. Oh, and that's finished. Okie dokie, right, well, um, we seem to do quite well. The, the numbers are flying up on the end there. That's what we like. Right, okie dokie, well, I think uh, that we are going to wrap that up for today. Um, I do hope you enjoyed the video. And, uh, yeah, do subscribe. Uh, we might do more with Trains in World. The amount I've just bloody paid for it. 
Uh, I think we're gonna... No, no, what's happening? What's happening? No, we, we want to leave. We'll, we'll do this next time. There we go. Yes, the amount of just flaming paid for the bloody well thing. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do more, uh, Trains in World things. I'll stick them all in a nice little playlist so you can uh, keep up to date with that. You can find them nice and easy. And yes, yeah, sling a like at this video if you enjoyed it. I, uh, I quite enjoyed making it. I hope we can stick with Trains in World. Or maybe, who knows, next week they're gonna bring Trains in World 3 out and I'll have to buy it again goodness only knows but uh, yeah subscribe and uh, I shall see you next time thanks for watching and uh, see you later